There you go. Hi everyone, happy Friday. Um, yay, it's the weekend. I'm so excited. I'm going away tonight for a couple of nights and uh, I can't wait. <laughs> I'm leaving the kids home alone. Well, they're not kids, they're adults, you know, but yeah, leaving the boys home alone. Um, so, uh, so yeah, they get the run of the house and I get to go away for a couple of nights, which I'm very, very excited about. I'm going to sleep and it's supposed to be the most amazing weekend ever. The weather's supposed to be ridiculously hot. So I'm just going to sit in my deck chair by the lake with g and do nothing for two days. Really excited. <laughs> How is everybody? Who's coming online? Anybody there? Uh, Wendy, Jan, Claire, they've all commented. Lovely. Hi, everybody. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Jan. Hi, Claire. Um, was that Jan Brody? Yes. Yeah. Jan, I tried to ring you a moment ago. Um, uh, you might not pick, have picked up your voicemail. Could you drop me a message to let me know which elephant kit you would like, pink or blue, please? <laughs> um, but yeah, there's no rush. Um, or give give the shop a call. Either or, love. Um, so we're gonna do um, we're gonna do some little a little needle case today, which um, I've written a pattern up for. Pattern will be on the website as usual. Um, I've put the all those lovely, you know, the William Morris fabrics I was showing you yesterday. I've put all those on the website. There's also um, quite a lot of stuff, um, ready-made stuff, you know, samples from Machandra and stuff that we've made. They've all gone into the ready-made section as well. So um, if you don't feel like making something but you need a present, it's a really good idea. Um, they, they, all that's there. Um, and I've reduced all, for you crochet and knitters, um, oh, there's a big fly. Al, can you open that, wind, that door, please? Why is it the second I start filming, we get a random fly come in? Oh, I hate them. I hate them. Oh, go away, vile things. Um, so I've also reduced um, all the Lucky Dip yarn bundles, okay? Because frankly, I need the space. I need the space in the shop. So um, so they're all reduced as well. So if you're a crochet knitter, knitter it's worth having a little look there. Um, so all that went on last night. Um, I'm hoping there's going to be another raffle starting. I'm going to send Sean over a new raffle card and hopefully she'll be able to get that loaded this weekend. But I thought I'd show you these. I've managed to get, and I've literally got one of these, one each of these. For those of you who absolutely loved the Catitude fabrics, um, they did three ranges. They did Catitude, Catitude 2, and Christmas Catitude. I've managed to get a jelly roll, just one of each. So, Al, if you could come a bit close on these. So, I've got one of the, the Catitude, okay, which is all the two and a half inch strips. There's 42 strips in there. 40 sorry 40 strips if i just flip it over a second you can see you've got all those in there so there's one of those these are on the website but they're really it's going to be first come first serve because i've only got one of each this is the catitude christmas so you've got all that lovely color in and the the metallics in it okay and then i'm just going to flip it over and you can see you've got all the the little cats in their christmas hats and stuff and their baubles and then i've got one of catitude two which had slightly more sort of greens and blues in it rather than the first one which more, was more purples um, and then if I just flip it over you can see you've got all the, the little caps and all on there so there's one each of those on the website okay I've and then I've, managed, I've got these as well so again these are Christmas ones this is called festive season two and I love these iced blues in with these more sort of um, blue uh, darker reds and greens I think it's really really nice really quirky if I just flip that one over you can see you've got these beautiful baubles and stuff on there okay and then this one is called a country Christmas I haven't put this one on yet I forgot to do it last night but I will get this one on, or you can give us a call if anybody wants this one and this is a lovely sort of more traditional autumn -y Christmas colours and uh, you've got like ice skating and holly and all in there but that's really really pretty as well okay so i've only got one each of those so i thought i'd let you know um it, if you want them you're gonna have to grab them quick because i know people love the catitude fabrics so um yeah we only had one of each um what else have i got to tell you what are the news if you've bought a ticket to the um learning hub with the craft shows for, uh, for next tuesday night um they are still on sale they're eight pound um, I will repost the link if you want to have a go. If you have already bought it, um, I've spoken to Creative Craft Shows today, you will be getting a link in the next couple of days, um, by Monday at the latest, but in uh, Monday evening at the latest, but in the next couple of days you will get a link 
um, emailed to you which will have a um, which the link will take you directly to a private Facebook group okay you will be able to access that group at all times once you've bought the ticket so you'll be able to re-watch the the um, the demonstration and stuff if you, you know so you um, you don't have to sort of worry about um, sewing along on the night it's not a sew along one okay it's one that you can go back in and watch um, the pattern I will be putting onto the website this week well probably Sunday night I'll put it on onto the website and you'll be able to go in and download that okay oh, and that's on our website um, so I'll do that I will also actually put a link into that private Facebook group for the download for the pattern okay um, I think that's everything I think that's all the news to tell you that was quite a lot actually wasn't it so needle case I've been playing around with a little needle case and this is what I've come up with okay so oh, if you could come close on this one so I've made a little needle case like this so I'm going to show you how to do this foundation piece in on the front okay and we're going to add a little pocket we're going to the little secret is is we've got little pockets inside okay so you'd keep all your needles and pins in the felt here and then we're going to add these little pockets I have since I made this sample at the beginning of the week at the beginning of last week actually um I've decided that we're going to put a little elastic and a button on this as well to keep the pocket closed but I like the fact that you can get you could put like your little hexes in there you can get a seam ripper in there you can get your scissors in there in the other side as well so you've got everything in there okay I'll just put those back into there you get every you can put everything in there and you could leave it in your handbag but the reason I'm going to put um I'll just slide this back in oh slide this back in there get the little stalk scissors in the back we're going to put a little button and a, a little closure here just to hold the scissors in and then when you wrap them all up like this okay and tie it up you could keep that in that in your handbag Okay, so you know if you've got a little project, or you could keep it in your sewing box or whatever. So we're going to have a little go at this today. All right. So you will need some strips of fabric. Okay. So we're going to need some strips of fabric which are one inch is wide, at least, and at least five and a half inches long. But about what? But you want them to be one inches wide. You want a cup, uh, two pieces of calico. Okay, which are four inches. But don't worry about all these measurements because the pattern is on the website. I've done one already because you need to do two. You need a little piece for the centre spine, which is three and a half by one and a half, one and a quarter, sorry. You need a lining piece, which is going to be seven and a half by three and a half. And you want two pieces for your pocket, okay, which is seven and a half by three, okay. You'll also need a button. You're going to need a little bit of elastic and all, but we'll do that. Uh, as we go through okay so anybody there who's there anybody having a chat before we get started um, any questions or anything not any questions yeah no? just everybody saying hello yep cool oh. hi guys so um you're going to do exactly the same on both we're going to do this on both of our calico squares okay so this is like foundation piece in all right but we're doing it on calico because it's going to stay there and it just gives the needle case a bit of um, stability as well all right we're going to draw a line right across you're not going to see this line it can be in pencil whatever okay so we're going to draw a line right the way across corner to corner like that pencil fricks on whatever so if you can stay nice and close a second i'll just like do this first bit you're going to choose one of your strips so i'm going to go with this one to start with okay and I'm going to line it face up along that line, like that, okay? I'm going to choose a second strip, and we're going to line it up face down this time, so we're sandwiching them together, like that, all right? And we're going to stitch down this side, so the drawn line side, okay? I'm going to put a pin in there just while I take it to the machine. Oh, I'm all fingers and thumbs today. My hands are all sticky as well. It's all... Hang on, just move this forward just a bit. Here we go. I can see what I'm doing now. <laughs> I was trying to uh, trying to do it on the uh, on the wonk and uh, couldn't see what I was doing. So I'm just going to pop a pin in there, and then we're going to go over to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch down quarter of an inch. Okay, I'm going to take these strips with me as well. Get my coffee out of the way and my basting spray. <laughs> okay, so that's following me over, and then we're going to just stitch down quarter of an inch down the drawn line side okay so just 
just make sure that's all nice and lined up now you don't have to do these stripey okay you could do them as a single piece of fabric you could do a bit of mile a minute in but i just thought i'd show I, I played around with this so i thought i'd show you this okay like that okay and then we're going to come over to the ironing board and all you want to do is just then set that seam okay like that and then roll it out and you, these are little tiny pieces of fabric. Excuse my really bad nails. I've got to take it off in a minute. <laughs> it's really chipped. Okay, and we're going to just press that out like that. Okay, so you've got two. It's just like using stitch and tear, like if you did foundation piecing, but um, I think they call it stitch and flip. I, I, yeah, um, but we're using this as a, as a backing, as a foundation. Okay, so now I'm going to add another one on like this. And I'm going to stitch down. And we're going to go either side to completely cover the calico square. Okay, so now, um, any questions or comments there? Anybody there? Um, ben said she kept losing and joining us at different bits. I don't know if that was us having a bad connection or not. Oh, um, I'll just come up to me a second. I'm sorry to talk to ladies. Right, can you... Um, can you go onto my settings and take it off the Wi-Fi and put me onto mobile data? Put you onto the mobile data rather than the Wi-Fi in case it's our... They, we've got the BT Open Reach, we're working outside earlier, so it might be that our Wi-Fi is a bit dodgy today. Okay. So, oh, no, press the right buttons there. There we go. So all I'm doing is just working my way across this little calico square. Let us know, ladies, if you can... Uh, if you're having any trouble seeing us, okay? There we go. And then I'm going to go this side. I'm just going to work my way right the way across until I've completely covered it. So so what are you ladies up to, ladies and gents, up to this weekend? Anything exciting? Okay. Here we go again. Is anybody doing anything nice? You got some gardening planned or anything like that? What, what, do you, what are you doing? What are you up to? Okay, so I'm just going to come across to this one like that. There we go. And then let's try putting this one this side. Putting this one this side. Okay, I'm just using, this would be brilliant for using up your scraps. Okay. Um, you know because these are little tiny tiny little one inch strips of fabric so this was from a really old project i had some bits left over from a project i made probably about four years ago and i was like well i might as well use them up and uh make something pretty out of them okay so i'm just gonna go back back like this there we go. So, no comments there? Any questions? Uh, I've, uh, I think it's sorted out now. It's sorted out now, is it? Good. Are you all, you all back? Are you all okay? I hope so. <laughs> there we go. Right, okay. Um, what's all, oh, dropped it on the floor. Hang on. Let's go grab that one. Got another one. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pop this one up here like that. And pop that one on. Okay. Like that. I'm just going to grab my scissors because I've got all these like loose bits here. Okay, so if I chop that one off now, I could use that just to fill that tiny little corner in there. Can you see I've got this little tiny bit? I don't want to waste a whole strip, so I'm going to use that little bit of excess just to fill that corner in. Like, there we go, like that. Okay, there right. we go on that one. Let's iron that one out. We got it. And then if I chop that bit off there, again, because that's a bit of excess. Okay, once I've ironed this one out like that, I can just cover that last tiny little corner. Now, it doesn't matter because we're actually going to square this down to slightly smaller anyway, okay? But it's just easier if I know everything is covered. Right, there we go. So, all the sewing's done on that bit. 
like that. Okay, so we're going to go back over to the mat. All right, so if you just stay high a second, lovely, because I'm going to be talking. Okay, so any questions? Anybody there? How are you all doing? Yeah, it's just starting to come through now. Just all starting. Ah, oh, um, good. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, we had a few tech issues then. <laughs> Uh, so apparently Angelina is making jam with plums from her mum's garden. Ooh, nice. Oh, nice! A Victoria sponge with plum jam sounds good. Mm. Anybody else up to anything nice? Uh, what you've all been doing? No? Claire's coming down to visit some friends in South Wales. Ah, or, lovely. Or down south, it says. Down south. Ah, oh, cool. Um, <laughs> be anywhere. Yeah, it's going to be a beautiful weekend, isn't it? Right, so we've done all our stitching like that. I'm going to flip it over. What we're going to do is I'm going to just line up my ruler along those top two edges like that and take off that excess. Okay, there and there. Okay, so I've got a nice neat two edges to deal with. And then I want to square this down to three and a half inches. Now, you could absolutely play around with the size of these. Once you've made one, if you want to make them bigger, there is nothing stopping you making all these squares bigger and just, you know, like, you know, add in a couple of inches to everything. But I quite like the idea of a little one just to keep in my bag. OK, so I've got my three and a half inch line by three and a half inch line that like that. And I'm getting rid of that. And the reason I've done it bigger is that everything can stretch a little bit because they're all little tiny skinny pieces everything can kind of move a little bit so by doing it at four inches and then cutting it down I get a nice neat finish okay so I've already done the other one let me just give that a quick press a second so I've already done the other one okay like that so you could put them whatever way you want you could have the stripes going the same way but I quite like the stripes going like that so this is going to be my front and this is going to be my back you want a little piece of fabric to go in the centre to make a spine. And this is one and a quarter by three and a half inches. We're going to sew this one to this side. We're going to sew, basically sew that in the middle of these two. All right. So I'm going to go back over to the sewing machine. This stay, stay high on me, lovely, rather than they don't need to see up close. Oh. <laughs> Where is it? Is it going to move? Okay. There it is. <laughs> I, think we're, I don't think uh, Drew's toy likes the heat it's been playing up the last couple of days isn't it the buttons mm. are mm. so i'm just stitching them down right sides together okay quarter of an inch either side nice and quick and easy oh, i tell you what i had some alinda's jam the other day talking about jams we had some alinda's jam the other day she made black currant jam oh my god it was good really good it didn't last very long i have to say <laughs> it really didn't last very long so I'm just sewing this little strip in between the two calico striking strips. There we go. So we end up with something that looks like that. Okay. So I'm just going to iron that just carefully. And I'm going to iron it into the seam, into the centre. All right. And I'll, I'll flip it over in a second and show you. So you can see on the back like that, oh, if you could just come a little bit closer, you can see on the back I've ironed it, those bits into the centre, okay? And then so from the front you'll end up with something that looks like that, all right? We now want to pop that onto, no we don't, we're not going to pop that onto batten at all, we're going to put the other bit onto batten. <laughs> so I'm going to put that aside. We're now going to make the pocket. So we've got a lining piece like that which is seven and a half by three and a half and then I've got two pieces of fabric which is going to make my pocket. You also want a little piece of elastic at this point so I've got a little piece of elastic cord because that'll go round my button which I've lost again oh no there it is <laughs> lost again okay so first thing we want to do is put these right sides together so leave the line in we're going to put the pocket pieces right sides together okay and you want to measure in right if i do it try and do it from facing you okay so this is facing you guys so from the top right edge i want to measure in one and three quarter inches okay and make a little mark just here so from the top right hand edge hedge because this is facing you guys one and three quarter inches 
I then need a little tiny piece of elastic and I quite like this cord because it's nice and soft and I want about that much you don't need much little ditty bit okay actually I'll make it just a weeny bit longer we're going to put a little tiny knot in it like that okay and you want to pop a knot in at the top okay like like that okay so you want a, a decent you know a knot with a couple of you know don't do it right at the very end you want a bit stuck out and we'll give that a good good pull so you've got two tails you're going to insert this in between so sandwich it between where the mark is but you want the knot to be out okay like that can you sit hopefully you can yeah. see that you can see that all right on the screen yeah can you see that the knots out yep. all right just pin it down okay it's a little bit tricky but just pin it down just to stop it moving we're now going to stitch right the way across this top bit here okay like that i'm going to take it over to the sewing machine again like up and sew across along the top edge okay out of the way now so I don't sew over the pin too badly oh, I've just realized I've still got my quarter inch foot on which doesn't necessarily like things being in its way because the little guide gets stuck in the out of stuff doesn't it there we go okay I would now go, now go back and just stitch back across that bit of elastic okay just to make sure that it doesn't pull out which would be really annoying okay so I've gone just back over that bit and then back over you want to make it sure it's really secure okay we're now going to turn that through and you can ooh, take the pins out that helps doesn't it turn that through and you can see you've got a little loop of elastic like that all right so just want to give this a quick press now okay so just roll that seam, you know like when we roll a seam with cushions and all, roll the seam to get it up to the top, like that, and press it. Okay, like that, okay. We're now gonna put, so we'll go back over to the mat. Any questions or comments there? Everybody with me so far, you're all all right? Everybody okay? Uh. Yeah. Claire asked if we were going to the, uh, oh, if a comment can get in the way, I could read it. <laughs> uh, if you'll be going to the ICHF craft show, but I think Sarah answered that. Ah, right, fair enough. Yeah, I don't think so, actually. Right, so this pocket is still now a little bit big, okay? Again, I cut it bigger to so give myself some wiggle room. So I just want to trim a little bit off the bottom, all right? And you just want to trim off about half an inch. If you want to be frugal to start with and cut them a bit, yeah, cut them in two and a half rather than three, that's absolutely fine. But I always think I always like to give myself that bit of wiggle room when I'm doing things like little fiddly things. Now, again, this is facing towards you. All right. You're going to line this up on the lining fabric. So this is the right side of the lining fabric. And I'm going to line it up along the bottom like that. OK. We're going to just pop a pin just in there just to hold it all together and now we can start kind of sandwiching everything okay so you right camera just flipped forward for some reason oh did they get a face full of you did they no it's got a face full of the ceiling oh, the ceiling <laughs> right you also want some cord okay and we're going to put this we're going to pin this in as well all right so depend what's that that is about 22 inches so you want sort of two pieces at 10 or 11 inches okay you could use ribbon rather than cord entirely up to you all right so I want two pieces again I'm going to put a knot in them like that just on the end and this is going to go like this so you want it sort of hard just just past the top of the pocket you could top stitch the pocket if you wanted to I'm not going to but you could absolutely put a little line of top stitch in if you wanted okay so i want one piece that side like halfway down that line and then one piece this side okay like that all right 
I've missed a step. Sorry. Before we before we pin that in, we need to pop some uh, pop it on some wadding. Okay. So once you've got it to this point, you want to put it on a piece of wadding. All right. So I'm just going to spray baste. There we go. Oh, did you get a mouthful of glue then? No. <laughs> there we go. Sure <laughs> okay. So pop it onto some wadding, and we're just going to trim trim that down. Okay. And then we're going to pin the cords in. I missed a step. So, how's everyone doing? Anyone else up to anything interesting? Anybody got any questions or anything there? Uh, someone asked what that green and blue fabric is. This one. one um, I bought this. This was left over from a kit from um, Sugar Craft. A sugar bowl. Sorry, Sugar Bowl Crafts that I bought um, oh, probably about four years ago. It's like a linen. It's like a cotton linen. Um, and I made a cushion out of it for a gift for somebody. Um, I don't know what it's actually called though, but if you have a check out Sugar Bowl Crafts, they do lots and lots of beautiful fabrics like this. It's definitely, they've got a, a stunning website, so it's definitely worth having a little look at. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know what it was called, I'm afraid. It was just a little bit that I was uh, using up. Um, in fact, uh, how about we do a really quick challenge post and I'll give this one away. This one that I'm making, I'll give away. Um, actually, not let's, uh, yeah, no, let's do a challenge post. Put on, oh, let's see all things turquoise because there's quite a lot of turquoise in this, isn't there? This lovely greeny turquoise colour. Um, I'll put a post up later. I want to see all things turquoise, okay? And I will give this little needle case away that I'm making. Um, and uh, I'll put a post, like I said, I'll put a post up. Um, and you can post over the weekend and I'll draw it on Monday. All right. Because I don't need two the same, really, do I? <laughs> right. So all I'm doing is just putting some pins in to hold. Oh, I put that in wrong because I, I, that's going to be in my way as I sew. Just to hold that cord in. OK, so can you see I've got the knot out just on the outside like that. And you want to sort of squiggle all that up so it's not in the way. OK, in the centre. So both sides halfway down. And I've got the knots out. All right. Next, we're going to put the little needle case right on top. OK, so the front, sorry, the front of the needle case is going to line up on top of it all like that. OK, so again, I'm going to pin it all down. And this it, it is a weeny bit fiddly, this, but it's, you know, it's nothing you guys haven't done before. I did iron all the table runner out after after yesterday's 1pm and uh, it looked really nice actually I'll show you in a second um, I haven't finished top stitching it because I was mega busy yesterday but um, it is uh, it did lie flat I'd left about four pins in there I kept thinking why is it not lying flat it's because I'd left loads of pins in there what before I turned it through okay so I'm just lining all this up pinning it down and we're going to stitch all the way round but you're going to leave a gap OK, and you want to leave a gap of about, what, two, one and a half, two inches, just enough to be able to pull it all through. Two inches. And I'd leave, the, again, this is facing you guys. So, is that facing you guys? Yeah, it is. Um, let me just double check I've done that right. Yeah, I have. <laughs> um, you're going to leave a gap on the bottom, of, on one side of the bottom edge, about two inches. So I'm going to start stitching here. I'm going to back stitch all the way round. I'm going to finish about there and leave my little gap. OK, so back over we go. So this is really boring stitching. So talk to me, ladies. What are you all up to? I'm just going to change my foot over and use the different foot. How's everybody been? Anybody got any questions or comments? Anything there, Al? Uh, Linda said she likes the needle case. It's not bulky. Yeah, it is. It's nice and little, this one. Press the wrong button. There we go. Um, I would up your mess because I'm going through quite a lot of layers and wadding. I'd up my stitch length as well, just a weeny bit, okay? Just only to like three. I wouldn't go up, go silly mad, um, but it's just there's quite a lot of bulk there, okay? Any other questions? Uh, not since that, and that was a while ago. That was like oh. a couple minutes ago at least. Oh, you're all quiet today, ladies. You're just watching, okay? Oh, one more stitch. There we go. So yeah, so I don't know if Alex is going to have any wild uh, parties when I'm away this weekend. 
you got a whole uh, whole rave planned while we're away? Yeah. Yeah, I thought you might. Yeah. Yeah, if you hear police sirens and all round Dennis, it's probably Alex. It won't. It really won't be. <laughs> there we go. All the way round, nearly there. Ooh, just slip just a bit. There we go. Just making sure all that all that cord has moved a weeny bit. There you go. So go go a little bit slow and steady on this bit, because you are um Oh, see. Hit a pin. Ooh, that was lucky. It slid off. It didn't break the needle. <laughs> there we go. No. Ah, no, what are you doing? Stop it. There we go. Don't know what I did then. Oh. Hmm. Hang on. Two seconds. I um my thread broke. What's it doing? Sorry, two seconds. I'm gonna have to re-thread. Okay, so definitely talk to me, ladies. What are you doing? What's happening? <laughs> Uh, Helen said, not sure if I missed, but wondering if there was further information uh, on the BOM October. Um, yeah, so we talked about it on Monday. Is that Helen Phillips? Yes. I don't know if um, I don't know if you've put put yourself down on, on one yet. So we um, we've got blue kits and pink kits. Although I think there's only two blue kits left, and about four of the pink ones. Um, it's £95 for the kit, and if, um, here we go, re-threaded, um, if you buy the kit from us, we're going to create a private Facebook group where I will do a two-hour class, you know, like demo, not, not demo, but a, like this, a two-hour session where you can ask questions, we'll go through the blocks from the previous seven days, any tricky bits, any bits you might need a bit of hand with. If you choose not to buy the kit, you can still join that group. And it'll just be five pound per session for that week, um, so you can um, you know you can still use your own fabrics and all if you want to. Um, I'm just gonna just go down this seam again that I missed. Okay, what's it doing? It's doing some work. What my machine's playing up? Why is it playing up? You better not. Ah, that's nah, fine though. There we go. Um, so yeah, so if we're not taking payment for the kits yet, because I want to make sure that the fabric definitely arrives. I mean. It's Moda, so I'm sure it'll be fine. But, you know, I don't want to take your money and then the fabric not be here. But we are taking um, a reserve list, OK? So if you know that you want to do a pink one drop us a or a blue one, drop us a, a message, a Facebook message, and we will put your name down for that colour kit, OK? Um, there we go. That's better. I don't know what it was playing up with then. Something went a bit wonky. It's probably where I hit that pin. Better. Cool. Right. Okay. So, so yeah, Helen, just give us a shout, lovely. Um, if you want, if you want one of the kits, um, just drop us a message, and we will put your name down for one. Um, you can absolutely. So, it's you won't we you won't download the patterns from us. You'll download the patterns from the Moda website. But again, we'll put the links up for you. Um, all I'm doing is just trimming off the excess wadding. Okay. Um, and. Like I said, but if you buy the kit from us, you can act, you'll be able to access the the two hour session um, each week, and I will go do like this, go through the blocks with you, any difficult bits, blah blah blah. Okay. If you don't buy the kit, there'll be um, be a small charge for the to join the group. Okay. Um, but you can you'll be able to download the patterns no problem. So um, we've decided to do it by Facebook group rather than Zoom. Because then if you don't, you know, if you're not going to make a block a day and you're going to do like maybe two one week and two the next week, once you once you're part of that group, you'll be able to go back and watch the ses the sessions. Um, so if you know, if you think, right, OK, well, block six, oh, I can't remember what she said about that. You'll be able to go back into the group where well, you can't do that with Zoom. So, OK, I'm just clipping my corners as well. All right. On this just clipping my corners all the way around so I've trimmed off all that excess bot, uh, batting and clipped my corners I'm gonna take my pins out this time uh, and then I'm gonna turn it through where is it come here no it's not that one come here <laughs> can't find the can't find, I did not leave in a big enough opening I've only left an inch hang on let me grab the seam ripper I'm just gonna have to open that up <clears throat> it's because i was talking and not concentrating let me just open that up just a wee bit i did not leave a big enough gap there we go that's better 
two inches, not one inch, and then you're going to turn it all through. Be careful of those pins, okay, as you turn it through from where the, the cord is. Like this, okay. And there's the pin there. And there, let's get rid of those, okay. So turn it all through. Any other questions or anything there, love, when I'm just turning this through? Not any more questions, but people clearly want an invite to this rave I'm having. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to have a massive house party while I'm away? You're gonna, all, the, all these ladies are going to be turning up and going, right, so where's the gin? <laughs> there we go. So all I'm doing is just pushing out those corners. I use an old crochet hook. It's a bit bent now, so uh, it's great for this. Okay, and get all that pulled out. Push it out. Any other questions there? Or are you just making party plans? <laughs> uh, I think that was the last to come in. Yeah, okie doke. But yeah, Helen, if uh, if you want um, one of the kits, please do drop us a, a message because they are going quickly. Okay, so pulled it all through. You need to give it a really good press. All right, so I'm going to use a bit of a... Uh, bit of starch on it as well just to help press that seam so I'm rolling the seam I'm giving it a good good press okay that gap so I just want to turn that all under like that okay just like you would if you were doing any sort of you know turning through we've done that lots of times haven't we turn turn that little hem and give it a press and then when we top stitch around in a minute that's going to all, all close up and we'll do the same on that side like that there we go okay i think i used the bit of scrap wadding i used was quite but quite um puffy it's gone quite puffy this one okay so really nice and pressed okay i've just turned under turned under that okay and i will ladder stitch that close in a minute and then we top stitch all the way round. okay i'm not going to do that now actually because i'm aware of the time so but i will finish this one off so i'm going to ladder stitch that all so it's nice and neat and then i'm going to top stitch all the way round. okay you want to add your button on again i'm not going to sew a button on now because where's my button where's my bag gone with my buttons in okay um because you don't need to watch me sew a button on <laughs> okay but i would sew a button on like that so that the little elastic closure goes round it and holds that pocket in place so the last little bit we need to do is you want some felt squares and these are two and a half by five and a half you can leave them straight like this but i like to pink and shear them we just move some of this stuff out of the way there's all sorts going on okay so that's obviously going to be the front like that which will fold okay this is the felt and all i'm going to do is i've got two square two rectangles and i'm just going to pink and shear all the way around just to give it a nice edge okay all the way around like this i can't believe how hot it is in this <laughs> this room today it's absolutely i'm melting melting wicked I was going to say Wicked Witch of the West, but my kids would probably agree. Okay, so ooh, pink and shit all the way around, like that. Okay, and then we're going to line these up in the middle, sort of centralise them like that. Okay, again, pin them down so they don't move. And then we're just going to stitch all the, and I'm not going to stitch now because I want to do the top stitching first, but I'm very aware of the time, okay? Because I'd have to lad stitch and then top stitch, okay? And then all you're going to do is I'm going to flip it over and you're going to stitch right down the centre of that centre panel. So if I show you on this one, okay, you can see I've stitched right down the centre of there, okay, to add in those leaves. Well, you've got that out. Someone asked, uh, they just joined. What are we making? Oh, right. <laughs> We're making a little needle case. Okay. But we've got a little needle case that's got little secret pockets in it. So you can keep your seam ripper. You could keep your hexes or some little bits and pieces. 
you can keep your scissors in the other side or, or whichever okay we've added in though this time so what I'm going to do actually is I'm just going to pin that down the centers if I've stitched it okay like that so I pin that down I'd sew that right down the center so you've got your needle case sleeves okay your button is going to go on there like that so you're just going to sew your button on i would probably sew my button on before i sandwiched it all together so you want to just come up to me in a minute lovely okay if it would turn hey well it's in there we go so i would probably put my button on before i did the sandwiching together okay it'd be a lot lot easier just to stitch it to the the lining before you did all the turning through okay um, and also easy enough to position it as well um, and then the last little bit, like I said, is just to stitch your your felt rectangles in place. All right, that all that does with that little button. You could do one either both sides if you wanted to, but I just thought I didn't. I just wanted to be able to keep my scissors and all in there, so that will hold that nice and closed. And then you fold. I'm going to fold this one in half like that. Okay, and you can wrap this round like a little journal a nice bow you could um you could add some beads onto the end of uh, these if you wanted to i suppose couldn't you give it a go like that like that okay and that would be your little your little needle case all done and like i said i'll i'll um do you want a finished one or would you like a kit because i've got enough to put to, enough to make a kit in these colors i've got enough scraps left over would you like a little kit to make your own what do, you, what do you reckon, ladies? Do you want to? Do you want? Shall I give away the ready-made one, or shall I give away the kit so you can have a go yourself? Let me know. I pop it, pop some questions on there. But there we go. That's. Um, I'm going to keep this one for myself because I think it's really pretty. <laughs> but I'll either. I've got just enough fabric left to make another one in this colourway, or you can have the ready-made one. Okay. In fact, I'll put the challenge post onto Facebook in a minute. And uh, but that's it. That's it. It's all my all your little needle case with little secret pockets for keeping all your bits in. Keep a, a handy little tenner in there away from the kids. You know, they'd never think to look in your needle case in there in your bag for emergencies. <laughs> so that's it for today. Um, hopefully you all liked that. Are there any questions or comments there, Han? Uh, there's a lot of comments saying kit. You'd like a kit rather than a ready-made one. Cool. I will make a little tiny... I've, I've got hardly any of this fabric left, but I've got enough to make one kit. So that's what I'll do as the giveaway. I'll make the kit up and we'll do that as a challenge post. I'll put that up in a minute. In a minute. I want to see all things turquoise. Okay? And then we'll draw that on Monday and you can have a little, uh, have a, have a little play with one of these. Okay? Oh, who am I going to give the second one to? I'll give it to Lindy Lou because she's been a lush this week. She's helped me loads. <laughs> So, any other questions or comments? Um, no, nothing there. They were just talking about the rave, are they? Yeah. <laughs> He's not really having a house party. I mean, he can if he wants, but he won't. <laughs> People are saying they got a bunch of other projects to do. Fab. Lovely. Fabulous, fabulous. Cool. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. If there's nothing, no major pressing issues there for me to answer, um, please do, um, if you want to, obviously, but, you know, it'd be nice to if you could support us. Um, the tickets will be li are live for the Learning Herb thing next Tuesday. Um, so if you haven't already, that would be lovely if you could uh, join me for that, if you fancy it. Um, and I will see you on Monday with some more projects. So it's back off holiday. Um, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. So have a lush, lush weekend. Enjoy the sunshine and we'll see you soon. Bye.